standard 9 good morning standard 9 students now again i shall explain as to what confusion that had taken place between longstock gobo and his old father old man gobo so alack sir i am sad boy i know you not so old man gobo is unable to recognize his own son so longstock says nay indeed if you had your eyes you might fail of the knowing me he says oh ho i forgot if your eyesight was better perhaps you would be able to recognize me but it is a wise father that knows his own child now this particular sentence what longstock meant he said since you are unable to see but i can see who you are so a wise child should know his own father that is what actually he was supposed to say but then he says it is a wise father that knows his own child now i told you a wise father it can also be a reference to a story in the bible about the prodigal son i told you the son takes his share of money and he goes and squanders it and then when he runs short of money he falls sick and he is starving then he decided to go back to his father and his father was on the rooftop okay and from a distance he saw a speck a dot advancing towards his house okay then he recognized his son he was wise enough to know that that speck the person who is crawling and coming from a distance is my own son so that is what go launcelot also felt maybe my father was not able to see but at least he could feel my presence he could recognize my voice and on the other hand he also said it is a wise child who should be able to recognize his own father well old man i will tell you news of your son now he has decided to stop playing pranks with his father now he wants to speak the truth so now old man i will tell you something about your son so first give me your blessings so first give me your blessings then he needs for blessing and then he says truth will come to light murder cannot be hid now he says now ultimately truth cannot be concealed it cannot be hid for long truth will always be victorious he says murder is like a big lie <coughs> like i have got a guilty or a faulty rhythm they have no feet it cannot be hidden for long so the man son may he said i may try to hide the truth from you but truth in the end truth will always be victorious the truth will definitely come out in the open means i cannot hide my true identity from my own father but go go pray you sir stand up i am sure you are not longstock my son my boy he says though i am requesting you to please stand up but i know that you are not my son now this made a question mark in longstock's mind but how come in spite of me talking 
my father till now has not yet recognized me. The reason is that the prank which Launcelot played with his father and talking about Launcelot being dead. Now that was something which the old man could not bear. And now the person who gave him the sad news of his son is now telling him that I am your son. Now if my son is dead, how will he be in front of me? That is why he says, I'm sure you are not my son. And even if you were my son, you would have never played such a prank with me, or on me. Okay. Pray you, let's have no more fooling about it. So now come on now, enough of playing the fool with each other and too much of joking. I think now we should keep this joke aside. But give me your blessings. I am Launcelot, your boy that was, your son that is, your child that shall be. So here he's saying, I am your son, I was your boy, I am your son, and I will always be a child to you. Go home. I cannot think you are my son. So still I cannot believe that who I am talking to is my son. Now remember, when they first met, he did not recognize his son. Then the son says, I will confuse my father, I will raise the tears, and all that. So he said, we cannot believe that all this while he was talking to a person who now claims to be his son. Now Launcelot, on the other hand, says, now what to do? I am standing in front of my father. I am telling my father, I am your son. Even then he is not being convinced, oh, he is not believing me. So I know not what I shall think of that. But I am Launcelot, the Jew's man, and I am sure Marjorie, your wife, is my mother. So I don't know in which way you are actually taking it. Okay. Because Launcelot feels, now I think, now my father is playing the same prank on me. Like I failed to recognize my father at the beginning. Now my father is playing it back on me. Now he is pretending that he does not know his son. Okay, so he says stop all that prank now. In order to convince his father, he has to give some reference. He says, I am the man who was working for the Jew. He says, you had come out to look out for the person who is serving the Jew. He says, I am that person. And your wife's name is Marjorie. And Marjorie is my mother. Now, Launcelot has to give these two references to convince his own father that he is his only son. Okay. So he has to get the reference of the Jew, the master Jew, and his mother, whose name is Marjorie. Only then old man Gobo was able to be convinced that ah, actually this is my son. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, now I shall be winding up now and I'll be sending some more soft copies. So please write and learn. Okay, and I'll try to have a test at the earliest. Thank you.